In the Enchanted Kingdom of Fior, there is a magical wizard guild called Fairy Tale, filled with all kinds of characters with all kinds of power. But Urza decides why cast spells when swords are just as satisfying. So she's focusing her magic on creating and mastering over 200 types of swords and blades, basically becoming a one-woman arsenal for any sword you can possibly think of. And you know we absolutely love our swords here on this channel, but how many sword styles does she actually know and what would it take to train just like her so of course in this episode of fight like a super we're gonna have to find that out we're losing soldiers as we speak say what the council's army is already here uh not exactly sir it's just one person! What's up guys, it's the only ninja wearing a leader and a superhero hat, and welcome to the Modern Ninja channel. On this series, I take some of your favorite characters from TV, movies, anime, and video games, and break down their fighting styles, and not only just break them down, but I also teach you one of their moves or combinations that you can train in your backyard right now. And in this one, I'm absolutely gonna teach you a sword combo, but if you don't have a sword, don't worry, I have one linked down in the description down for you guys. Plus, there's a discount code there, so you can also get 10% off. But if you like the concept of this series, make sure to drop a like on the video because it really helps your boy out. But let's get into it. Urza Scarlet is basically what happens when you give someone access to every type of sword that exists. And she's able to use every single one of them to a top tier level. And even when she doesn't have her sword, she can still throw hands and keep up with the best of them. So Urza is no slouch in combat in any way. But that means we're not only going to have to figure out how to master pretty much every sword out there but we're also gonna have to be pretty decent at un un unarmed combat as well man i can't talk and honestly it's not every sword but it's it's most of them <laughs> but let's start off with open hand because that's gonna be the easiest one to just get out of the way and that's gonna be kickboxing urza is very balanced when it comes to her unarmed combat and kickboxing is one of the most well-balanced styles out there at least in my opinion that can definitely be debated Kung Fu guys, I hear you, I hear you, we can fight about it later. But kickboxing gives us the ability to use our hands, elbows, feet, knees, groundwork, striking work, and it makes us a very generalized fighter, which is all we really need because we're gonna spend most of our times with swords in our hands. Now, like I said earlier, she knows over 200 different types of bladed weapons. However, that does not mean we need to learn 200 individual sword styles. I'm not even sure there are 200 individual sword styles out there. So instead, we are gonna cover our bases with about six different martial arts styles that we can use to cover almost every type of blade out there. And we're going to start off in Europe with HEMA or H-E-M-A, Historical European Martial Arts. This was the fighting style that was primarily used for half a millennium in Europe, predominantly from the 1300s to the 1800s and even still being used up throughout the 16th century for actual combat. But everything changed when gunpowder got invented. <laughs> I'm kidding, but for real, in order for it to last that long, it must be really effective considering that's one of the bloodiest times in human history. It will teach you how to learn several different types of weapon styles, from single sword, a broadsword, to sword and cape, sword and dagger, two-handed swords, spears, axes, and so many other things. They honestly have a little bit of everything in that style, but for Urza, we're gonna need all the blades they got. Next, we're gonna be leaving Europe and spending some time in Japan, focusing on Kendo for the Japanese style swords. Kendo is actually a more modern Japanese style that descended from Kenjutsu, one of the oldest swordsmanship martial arts styles in existence. But today, Kendo is quite widespread and still used in combat like now, like in 2023. Practitioners often use bamboo swords to train effective and quick moves that are designed for combat. Kendo focuses on training with the katana, but the skills you will learn in this art can be transferred to pretty much any type of sword, especially when you incorporate the creativity that you'll get in some of the other styles later on this list. For our third style, we're going to actually stay in Japan and learn the Naginata Jutsu. And for those of you that saw my white beard video, you should go check it out. This may be familiar to you, but for the uninitiated, this is a style completely devoted to one weapon, the Naginata. Basically, Japan's answer to the European glaive or Chinese Juan Dao. I, 
really per sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, but I, I don't know. I, I, I can barely speak English, guys. But it's basically a long stick with a short machete on one end. This will allow us to get the quite skilled with any other similar pole arm weapons that allow us to focus on the reach of the weapon, making it perfect for Urza because she is no stranger to long reach pole arm weapons. For our fourth style, we sail over to the Philippines for Arnis. Also known as Kali or Eskrima, it is the national martial art of the Philippines and one of the best modern weapon martial arts in existence, often teaching their students to use sticks and knives even before learning how to throw a correct punch. Speaking of learning how to throw correct punches, here's a word from our sponsor. Martial arts has been the best thing in my life for over 20 years now. I've learned from lots of different people doing lots of different things over the years, but I get asked all the time, can I help you guys get started in martial arts? And so I got you. By joining the channel as a member, you will not only get four brand new tutorials each month to work and hone your skills, but you will also get two live lessons from me that you can tune in exclusively. All for just like 30 bucks a month if you wanna help out the channel. I mean, the whole goal of the channel was to inspire others to start martial arts, so it's time I take the next step and help you take your first step on your journey to be a martial artist. So consider going to the channel and becoming a member, but let's get back to the video. We are gonna use this style mainly for its ability to dual wield pretty much any weapon. There are tons of benefits that this art can also give any martial artist, but for Urza, we really need to be able to use multiple swords all at once. Now we're no Zoro, but we still gotta be able to dual wield. My Ataraxia armor! Soaring blade! We're also going to be learning fencing. This combat sport has roots in true combat and relies on speed and accuracy with their sword. And with the modern version sticking around since the 19th century, there is no way we could possibly leave out this French martial art. It's been prominent in media for decades, even being the main style of the fallen Jedi Count Dooku from Star Wars. So it's no wonder it also shows up here in fairy tale. I mean, of course. And lastly, we're gonna take a bit of a detour from our practical martial arts styles and take a dip into our X and A. Or for those of you that don't know, Extreme Martial Arts. It's a style created by a literal Power Ranger that focuses on swordsmanship, athleticism, and performance. Basically, it's where we will learn our sword tosses, tricks, and maneuvers that will keep our enemy awestruck. Plus, it's the only way you're possibly gonna figure out how to use a sword in between your toes like she does. So honestly, good luck on that one. Anyone who stands between me and my home will pay the price. And if you can manage to find the time to train all of these styles, you will be a sword god worthy of Urza herself. Now I'm sure some of you are hyped to get started. So let's jump outside grabbing our sword and getting you guys the combination that you will learn in this video that you can practice in your backyard. Hey, I just figured I'd let you guys know that there's new merch in the store. Like if you didn't even know I had a store, I have a merch store and there's new merch in it. So definitely go check it out. There might be something you like, there might not be, but you know, you never know until you know. So go check it out, links down in the description. All right guys, so it's time to go. <laughs> All right, so it's time to go into our sword combination for Urza. Now I'm using a tricking sword from Sentry. It's not sharp, it's literally designed so that if you catch the blade by mistake, it won't hurt you. So if you want one, uh, check out the links down in the description. They will have plenty of different types, straight blades, the curved katana, different sizes, all that kind of stuff. So if that's interesting, interesting to you, definitely check it out and use my discount code Ninja10 to get one. But for our combination today, we're gonna be doing three strikes, or I'm sorry, two strikes, a stab, and a trick for our simple combination that can just get you started. And if you're not using a sword, you can use a stick or any kind of relatively short, um, like straight object to use instead. So let's get to it. You start off with holding our sword, just like so. You want all of your fingers, if you were to straighten them out, facing the same direction. You don't want to be one of these or one of these yet. Um, just straight forward, your fingers will line up with the blade. So, once you're here, we're gonna be doing two X cuts, or one X cut, dropping down from here and here. The key is to make sure you point your pommel, the bottom of your sword, towards the target as you slice through. 
point toward the bottom of the bottom of your sword towards the target as you slice through. And as your stance is switch, it will go one, two, just like so. So one, two, four, more advanced. You can actually slightly move forward. One, two, as you cut through to have more depth cutting through your target instead of just kind of being in place the whole time. Now, the next step is our uh, wind up for the top. So starting off, let's just work the top by itself just so we're comfortable with it. You're gonna hold your sword out horizontal just like this. I'm holding it in my right hand. I'm gonna swing up and let it come back into my hand, catching it palm up in a reverse grip. So again, letting it swing, catch. One more time, if you're holding it traditionally, let it swing around, and now you're holding it in the reverse grip, just like so. Now to get the wind up, it's very simple. You're starting from here. You're gonna lead with the tip of your sword and follow with the handle. That sounds like straightforward, but I promise it's not. So lead with the tip, go behind your back, around, and in front, just like so. Again, leading with the tip, going dipping down behind your back, and coming in front, just like so. And as you do it, one, two, you can make that smaller. One, two, one, two, one, two, just like so. As you hit that, you let go and you catch. I personally like having the catch farther back away, um, but you can also do the catch right in place as well as up to you guys. So all together so far, we have one, two, behind in front, catch, we have our stab to the ground, so you're just gonna simple, like straight forward, stab to the ground and pull back. Always pull your sword back, and you don't have to always do it for this combo, you're gonna pull your sword back, and that is our combination. So one more time, going nice and slow, we have one, two, wrap round, catch, stab, and pull back, and then you can finish by just putting the sword behind you, have a cool pose, you can finish with the uh, the um, Clint Hawkeye, the Clint Barton uh, sword wipe, really up to you guys, but all the way through. There we go, we have our sword combination, and if you want to learn some of the other sword tricks and tosses that I do, let me know, I'm also gonna be doing um, lots and lots of tutorials on the members only page for you guys, so the sword is coming up soon. So with that said, I'm kinda out of breath, it's time to go back into the studio and continue the video. I'll be happy to put an end to all this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I really like doing these, and if you wanna see more of them, make sure to subscribe and don't miss next week's video, which will be a really special one featuring instructor Bensei because who else would be perfect for teaching you how to use Scorpion's rope dart? So make sure you hit the notification bell so you don't miss when that video goes live. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore, this is The Modern Ninja, and I'm out. If you like this video, check out this one about Yang from Ruby, or this one you do think you'll like as well. Either way, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bruce Lee, flow like water, state of mind, got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been. Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pink. Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim. I hit flashing change while your boy been in the gym. Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to...